Welcome to week 22 until week 25 of dollar cost averaging $10,000 in the bear market. Let's jump straight into the video. As you guys know, I'm taking $10,000 and every single week I am accumulating even more crypto. So on average, I'm taking $200 every single week and I'm investing into projects that I believe will perform very well in the long term and now without wasting any more of your time let's go over to the computer screen so i can show you the projects that i have bought over the last four weeks let's go all right so now we are inside of the spreadsheet as you can see we started out with ten thousand dollars now we only have five thousand and forty two dollars left and these are the projects that i have purchased so far including matic Pendle, Cardano, Hello, Flash Stake, Polkadot, Silo Finance, some Cadena, and some Kadex. And this is the breakdown of every single week where I purchased some crypto, how much I paid, and what price I got in at. So for week 22 and week 25, I ended up purchasing Flash Stake every single week at the average price of 16 cents. So I spent around $800 and I got an additional 4,945 flash stake tokens. Now for my flash stake position, it went from 5,369 to 10,314 tokens. I will be making a separate video probably sometimes in the next couple of days showing you the reason why I'm accumulating even more flash stake tokens. They will be implementing a lot of changes with flash stake 2.0 so make sure you stay tuned for those future videos. One other thing that I want to show you guys is the value of the projects that I have accumulated so far. My Matic position right now is only worth $262. My Pendle position is worth $1,635. Cardano $241. Hello $588. Flash Stake is worth $1,134. Polkadot 314, Silo Finance 544, Cadena 130, and Kadex $119. So if we combine the value of all the tokens that we are holding right now, that will equal to $4,965. And if we combine that with the amount that we have left to invest, which is $5,042, so we are pretty much up only $7 so far. But in my opinion, that is definitely good. Since the beginning of the year, the majority of the projects have been trending lower and lower, especially altcoins they have been suffering big time projects like bitcoin and ethereum they pretty much are flat for the year but altcoins have been bleeding big time so i'm pretty happy that the money that i've invested in so far has maintained its value hopefully when the bull market returns these coins will perform very well and make me a ton of money in the process but i will still continue to purchase even more crypto every single week until the five thousand dollars becomes zero and if you have been following the journey over the last couple of weeks, you will see that I'm pretty much stacking up on these low cap gems such as Pendle, Hello, Flash Stake, and Silo Finance. I'm not really buying a ton of Cardano or Polkadot or Matic simply because I believe I can get way better returns with these low cap gems. Also, a lot of the drama in the crypto space seems to be cooling down. And a lot of YouTubers that were not making crypto content pretty much the entire year are slowly but surely jumping back into the space. In my opinion, that is a good sign. The more attention crypto gets, the better. Also, 2023 is flying by and we are more than halfway through. But next year in 2024, the Bitcoin halving will happen and hopefully that will trigger another massive rally in crypto. That is one of the reasons why I continue to buy, even though the majority of people in crypto have already left the space completely. But I believe the real ones are going to be rewarded, the ones that stick with crypto even in the worst times. Hopefully the bull market is just around the corner. All right, everybody, that concludes this quick update video. If you have any low cap gems, projects that you believe can perform very well in the bull market, drop them in the comments section below. I'll be happy to check them out and possibly invest some money in them. See you in the next one. Peace out.